She's a princess on the playing field as one of the fresh faces cheering for the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. But wait till you hear this Texas Rose's surprising royal twist. I was like, wow, that, that's something that's really unique and that's just fabulous. Now to the woman shaking up the Dallas Cowboys cheerleading squad. Most guys already think they're pretty special, but this beauty stands out for one regal reason. Our Suzanne Rico explains. Behind the pom-poms, one of these Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders hid an amazing secret, a royal revelation that stunned her fellow cheerleaders at a team retreat. We were all told to say something different about, like a secret about ourselves, and when that came out of her mouth, we were all like, <gasps> I was amazed. I was like, wow, that's, that's something that's really unique, and that's just fabulous. The beauty with the secret is this 19-year-old, the cover girl on the cheerleader's 2000 calendar, Sarah Shahi, a name that reflects her famous family ties. My great-great-grandfather was once the Shah of Iran. That's right. She's a member of a royal Iranian dynasty, which explains why this broadcasting and English major at Southern Methodist University speaks Farsi. And what I said was, what would you like for me to say? <laughs> oh, there's plenty to say about this dark-eyed beauty. Her road from princess to pom-pom was a long one. Sarah's frightened parents fled their Muslim homeland in 1978 during the purgings of the Iranian Revolution. They probably would not have lived, or at least my father would not have lived that much longer. That's because under the Ayatollah Khomeini's reign of terror, anybody linked to any past regime, like her great-great-grandfather's in the early 1800s, was the target of death squads. They knew that my father was part of the Shah's um, descendants, and they were out to kill just about everybody that was related to him. Escaping just before the American hostage drama, Sarah's parents built a new life in Texas, where she was born and raised and where a concert at Texas Stadium, home of the Cowboys, changed her life. I was completely just flabbergasted at the amount of people that had paid money to come watch George Strait sing.